What is going on guys? Grave here today. We got a lot of news about Call of Duty Vanguard and of course we finally got a lot of confirmation from Activision so let's go ahead and hop right into it. I think some of this stuff is going to make people kind of interested in playing the game. I think it may get some of the older fans back into or at least considering buying the games. I know over the last several years a lot of people have kind of stepped away from playing COD and one of the big things they discussed was 20 maps at launch and 16 of these are going to be featured for 6v6. That is one of my biggest complaints since about COD World War II up until COD Black Ops Cold War. Most of the time it seems like they had very few 6v6 maps uh, until you know the season was out or the DLC was out and then you you know you got a little bit more of a map pool then but by that time a lot of the player base had kind of stepped away from playing. So I feel like having 20 maps at launch 16 for 6v6 is going to be a big thing. I was always a big believer in, you know, if you're going to remaster maps, like they do a lot of a lot of years and a lot of games, you know, we'll get a, one or two new maps a year and most everything else is remastered. I wish they would just remaster all the maps at the beginning of the year and just put them in the map pool. That way we would have a big, uh, you know, kind of map pool, an option of different maps to play. And you don't get bored of them quickly. You don't get bored of just a handful of seven to nine maps. So I think having 16 maps available at launch for 6v6 and having 20 maps available at launch in total will be a great thing. For a lot of people i think a lot of people in the community will really be happy with that another thing that i think a lot of people are going to be happy with even if you did not enjoy uh, modern warfare multiplayer i think a lot of people really liked uh, the modern warfare engine so cod vanguard will be running off the modern warfare and warzone engine which i think will make some people uh, really happy to know that they like those player models and character models and the way the game looked and of course all cod games use the same engine but each development team kind of has their own tweak to it so it may not look exactly like modern warfare did but just keep in mind that modern warfare engine is being used for call of duty vanguard uh, the one thing that i'm still not really sure on uh, there's been a lot of different rumors and speculation about skill-based matchmaking activision is never really ever going to confirm or deny what type of skill-based matchmaking they use for their game i really wish they would go into more detail this year considering i think a lot of people are, are giving up on cod because of skill-based matchmaking so if all of these things that i'm about you know that i'm going to talk about in this video you know come to light and the game is really enjoyable if that skill-based matchmaking is there and it's all cods all games have a type of skill-based matchmaking but if that really strict skill-based matchmaking that's putting you in lobbies with really bad pings and just you know lobbies that are like playing kind of a ranked mode if that's kind of how the game is from the start it's going to be a turnoff for a lot of people anyway I think the game needs to come out with a ranked mode, the CDL rule set from day one. That way you can play casual or ranked. That way, if you want to go in and play a little bit of a sweatier lobby, you know, kind of grind out something, you'll have that option to play ranked. And if you want to play in more of a casual lobby, just kind of set it back like it used to be uh, for the old school COD fans out there. Where some games you may get in and absolutely pump, stomp, and destroy everybody. And some games you may get into uh, actually may be very competitive. Another thing that's coming with Call of Duty Vanguard is going to be zombies. And yes, you heard me right, zombies. Treyarch will be developing this. Treyarch, Beanox, Raven, and some other uh, teams are all working on Call of Duty Vanguard along with Sledgehammer. I'm assuming this is happening because of the whole Sledgehammer kind of debacle where they were not a company anymore or not a really development team than they were. And then they, Activision decided to put them as the head of this game. So I'm sure Treyarch and Raven and Beanox and all those other companies that did a lot, a lot of things with Cold War are also helping with this title as well. So it looks like we're going to have a zombies mode in Call of Duty Vanguard that's going to kind of just follow the story uh, leading up or kind of after what we have or continue the story, I guess, really, with what we have available right now in Cold War. There will be a new Warzone map, which I know a lot of people that are Warzone fans will be very happy with. But the main thing I think a lot of Warzone fans are going to be really happy with is anti-cheat. They are going to bring an anti-cheat to Warzone, which is the one thing that has killed Warzone as of late. The one reason not a lot of people play it anymore, because there are so many cheaters. A new anti-cheat that works correctly and a new map, I think Warzone will probably or possibly could be more popular than it has ever been. It's at least going to get back, I think, to that stage it was at as long as this anti-cheat is a good anti-cheat people enjoy the new map but i think people would have been fine with the old map as long as there was an anti-cheat system in the game and the last but not least that we kind of got a idea of the release date uh, from playstation from the playstation store and that's around november the 5th that's not official yet but i'm assuming that's probably right a lot of these dates get leaked you know early on from different you know microsoft store playstation store that kind of thing um this seems to be about the normal cycle uh kind of how it always happens if you're a battlefield fan as well as a call of duty fan 
they always seem to come out within a week or two of each other. And we do know, of course, uh, Battlefield is coming out at the end of October, so it looks like COD will be coming out right after it. So at least you'll get to play a little bit of Battlefield before both games are out. I know it's a kind of a hard decision to make if you uh, decide to play and own both. But it looks like Call of Duty Vanguard could be shaping up to be a decent game. I'm still not sure if the community is going to be excited for it because of skill-based matchmaking and because of that World War II idea. A lot of people are not a big fan of that era again. A lot of people are just kind of tired of it. I know I am. I, I'm not exactly a young person anymore. I'm 37 years old and I have played a lot of World War II first-person shooters in my day. And it is not exactly something that's kind of a fresh take when it comes to playing a, a, you know, a first-person shooter. I would like to see something a little bit different. But anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.